Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech, and today I got an iOS 3 video for you guys. Now I've been asked this question a lot. Can voice control be on an iOS 3 device or any older device that cannot support voice control? Now this is good, but at the same time it is kind of bad because it is not the best voice control you can get, but it's the only voice control you can get. So um, to get this one, the good thing about this one is that you don't have to go onto any computer. It's right on your device. And for this one, I'm just going to have you guys go into Cydia. Now, once you guys get to Cydia, you want to go to your manage and you want to go to sources. Now, what you guys want to add is you guys want to add the insanely I repo if you don't have it already. Now, because you need to add that one is because you need to go to search and on search, you need to tap on the top and then you got to search for install list and then if you put install it should pop up right there don't download install list 3 or install list 4 it's just install list folks so as you can see if I click on it it will appear and then you just want to install this and as you can see that's the logo for it so you can know which one you're installing and this is the only thing that you will need to install from Cydia so once you have that, you just want to go back and now you want to go into your install this app. And as you can see, I have voice control right there. So as you can see, it will just be on your springboard. You probably will need to respring. And as you can see, you just want to launch it. And what you want to do is you want to go to your browse over here. And on the top, you want to tap on it and you want to type in voice controls dot T K. Now you want to click go. And when you click go right here, it should take you to mediafire.com, which just allows you to download and then it will go to your downloads folder right here. So I'm just going to quickly show you, as you can see right there, it's loading up. It might take a while because it is um, right there. As you can see, it's loading and as you can see, you can just pinch in. And then it will show you right there. And then you just want to click download. So I'm just going to demonstrate for you guys by just clicking download. And then it will go to your downloads and you will see right there. So as you can see, it downloads pretty quick. But then I'm just going to click edit and I'm going to delete it because I already have it. And once it has downloaded, it will install it right after it is done. So you don't have to worry about that. And when you exit the application, you will have voice control right on your springboard. So as you can see, I can just launch it and then it will just pop up. And as you can see, it's not the best voice control, but it's pretty functional. So just right off the bat, you can see that you have your um, search over here. If you tap on that, it gives you a variety of things to say. Um, you can tap that on or off if you want to. You got your contacts, your music, and then your bookmarks right there. So as you can see, it says voice control, and then right here um, on the top corner, you have a dot, which is your settings, and you can just um, go through all these settings. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, from this, you can launch um, applications. You can launch music. Sorry for you guys. I do not have music on my iPhone, so I can't really do that, but I will show you that it can switch. Switch to bookmarks. So as you can see, it worked right there when switched to the bookmarks. And if you had music, as I said, you can um, say play whatever song and it gives you little quotes in the background like play playlist, play artist, anything like that. So this is just how to get voice control on your older devices. Now, if you guys would want to set it up into voice control, all you guys have to do is go to your settings application, scroll down and just make sure you have activator. So I have activator right there and you want to click anywhere. You want to scroll down until you see short hold. So this will short hold your home button and you just want to go to the application. So I'm just going to quickly find the application and as you can see it's right there. You just want to click on it and then you want to exit. Now you have the voice control option to hold it down. And as you can see, it just launches the application like that. So it's kind of like voice control. So that's it, folks. Um, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button right down there. Make sure to leave any of your comments, questions below. Subscribe up there for more cool videos like this. Like always, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at Apple Tech Helping. That link will be in the description below as well. So that's it, folks. This is Apple Tech. Peace out. Catch you guys in the next video.